Hey friends, Art Hayes, your host for the American Dream Selling Minnesota, welcoming you to Lake Minnetonka once again in my new $3.8 million listing. Let's go inside and take a look around. inside this stunning home that my friend Jeff, a professionally trained architect who's designed things all over the country at UVA, KU, Old Miss, and other schools, designed and built as his personal home. So a couple of things that make this home fabulous. The lower level is a walkout into a beautiful backyard that features sloping lawn, fire pit, patio area, and deck. On the main floor, you've got an owner's retreat with a stunning bathroom, large walk-in closet, and something I rarely see, an in-owner suite laundry room. On the main floor, you also have a fabulous great room with floor-to-ceiling windows, high-end appliances in the kitchen, a powder room, a butler pantry, and a great mudroom. Upstairs, bonus space, three bedrooms, all with en suites, and a really cool loft office area that looks right out over Lake Minnetonka. There's a two car attached garage with this home and then a detached three car garage. And with 60 feet of Lake Shore out the front and Lafayette Club out the back, this is a perfect place to call home. I'm here with my friend Dave, and he and his wife Deb own the fabulous and famous Minnetonka Drive-In. And we're here to have a conversation today. So it's been in your family for almost 65 years. You told me a great story. Well, I drink this root beer. Tell the viewers about like how you and your wife ended up here tonight. All right, so my parents built it in 1961, and I was nine years old. And believe it or not, there was eight of us kids, so I had to start working at nine. And as an A&W, they used to have takeout root beer in gallon jugs. So my job was to come in and wash the jugs, peel the label off, and put new labels on. And I remember I got a nickel a jug. I would have to walk to work. And I came to work, and there was this new bicycle sitting out by the back door. And my dad said, happy birthday, now you can get to work faster. <laughs> <laughs> and wash so I, more jugs. So I can get more jugs done, because I wasn't getting enough done. I've been out here a ton of times, and I love coming out for the car show. Tell us about the car show. Okay, so the car show started all oh, about 27 years ago. A friend of mine came to me and wanted to know if it was okay if his hot rod club met here on a Thursday night. I said, yeah, and then I got to thinking, I thought, oh, it's going to turn into a hangout and then my regular customers won't come. Well, they showed up, they had a meal, they had their little meeting, and they were gone. And, they, and the regular customers saw these old cars and thought it was really cool. Well, then what happened is the following week, that seven cars turned into 14, 14 turned into 28, and after 27 years, we'll have, if the sun's shining and it's, say, 70 degrees to 85, from four to nine, we can push up to 500 cars through here in four hours. That's amazing. Yeah. Tell me about some of the food items. What are some of the things that are more, I, I love the burgers, but I'm a big burger guy. But tell me about some of the things that are, you know, the most popular. Or what do people love the most? Okay, so I, I would have to say, number one, um, we're, we do a, what's called a pressure fried chicken. The chicken goes into a fryer. It has frying oil in it, and then it's pressurized, and that's what makes it really juicy and tender and crispy on the outside and really moist on the inside. Well, the burgers are probably number one as far as volume. Number two would be the chicken. We have a lot of homemade stuff, like we make our homemade onion rings that we're really famous for. If we run out, the people go crazy. <laughs> and, then, and then, of course, our homemade root beer. We have a barbecue sauce that 
people die for. It's kind of funny, when we're getting ready to close up for the fall, they'll come in and buy that by the quart and a half gallon and gallon. So seasonal business, when do you generally open and when do you generally close? Okay, so I always said we, we would shoot for the first week of March. We used to run into October and now things have changed a little bit. Uh, it's more in September. Okay, awesome. I can't thank you enough for having us. Would you mind showing us around a little bit? Sure. Wonderful, thank you. So what started as a beautiful sunny day turned into a rather dreary one out here in the Lake Minnetonka area. But it was great nonetheless. We had a chance to tour my new $3.8 million listing overlooking the lake and come to one of my all-time favorites, the Minnetonka Drive-In. I highly recommend it. Make sure that you stop in and tell them I sent you. My name is Art Hayes, and I'm your host for the American Dream Selling Minnesota. See you next time.